Have you ever wondered why our parents always told us to save money, that we should be saving money? Sometimes even our grandparents are saying that because, hey, if you save money, you're accumulating interest rates in your savings account, which is a passive way of making money. Is there some truth to that or were they completely out of their minds? If you're interested, let's just keep on watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode at Anova Rice Invest. For those who are tuning in for the first time, this is your channel for real estate education. So let's go back to the topic of our grandparents or our parents. They always said that the best way is to save money. Why? Because the interest rates are great and you manage to accumulate a certain amount of money by the time you're getting old and that way you will have financial security. But were they crazy to even say something like that because it doesn't seem to be the picture nowadays and for that we're gonna dive straight into my laptop so let's take a look at this for example right so this is a chart uh, of all historical interest rates that we have experienced since the 1950s all the way to 2020 and as you can see somewhere over here in the early 1970s you can see an interest rate of 10 percent all the way up to 20% by the 80s. That's great, right? It's awesome. But then all of a sudden, take a look at what's happening right now, 2020. The rates are actually very low. But for those who had their days in uh, the 1970s and the 1980s, that's actually not a bad deal to have your money in the bank account, right? Because in essence, this is what your account would have looked like. So let's assume that your mom or your grandma just went into the bank and they say, hey, how much are you offering? And they said, you know what? We're gonna give you 17% to open a savings account with our bank and keep your money in there. You're like, oh wow, 17%, that's, that's awesome. So you take that 17%, that's on an annual basis, right? That's why they call it the APY. And then you divide that by 12. So when you divide that by 12, that means you're accumulating a rate of 1.42% on a monthly basis. So let's say your grandma comes in and she says, you know what? Yeah, I like what I see. I'm gonna deposit my $1,000 in the savings account with this bank. So by the end of that month, your grandma would have $1,014.20. Not bad for something that is passive. It's accumulating on its own. Let's say your grandma doesn't touch that money. It stays there. And then the next month starts with $1,014.20, right? and she leaves that money there and a month later she managed to accumulate 1028 and something cents right you might be thinking hey i can make more than that but take a look at this this is 17 percent compared to what you're getting today right so what are the rates today so let's go back to this chart so the rates are nearly zero and for that, I actually pulled up a table from Chase Bank to see the type of products that they're offering in terms of savings accounts. So they have two savings accounts and the interest rate that they're offering are 0.01%. Come on, this is a joke, right? So 0.01%. That's the reason why people don't keep their money in their bank accounts. That's why you see the big discrepancy between what the generation of today think and compared to our grandparents or even our parents to a certain degree. And if you come back here and you want to analyze the number, if we're talking about 0.1% annual percentage yield divided by 12, that means you're getting 0.00083, an interest rate on a monthly basis. That's a joke. Imagine you taking $1,000 to the bank with this rate that only means that at the end of the month, you have accumulated 83 cents. And if you leave your money there and you wait for the next month, then you will start with 1,083 cents. And at the end of the month, you have accumulated your $1, right? $1 and then something cents. Wow, what a big difference. Compare this to this or this to this. It's eye-opening, isn't it? Now. Once again, you might be wondering, but why? Why is this happening? Why are the rates so low? It's very easy because the Fed wants it to. Why? Because they want you to spend money. They don't want you putting money in your bank account. Why? 
because we're going through tough times and people are hoarding their money they don't want to spend and if everybody collectively starts hoarding their money that means the economy is going to shut down no one is going to be able to have a job eventually right because everybody wants to keep their money for that emergency for that bad situation and that's why they're encouraging to spend money that's why you hear the term cheap money why because it is very cheap to go to the bank and take a loan that's why you see mortgages being originated like crazy people applying for sba loans left and right because the rates are so low that it's relatively cheap to borrow money now what you choose to do with that money that's up to your discretion some people choose to go shopping some people choose to invest that they invest in real estate they invest in the stock market but that's the ultimate goal of what the fed wants you to do they want you to do something with the money they just don't want you to hold it under your mattress or just keep it at home or keep it in the bank they want to see money flow because the more money flows the more you can manage to keep the economy afloat so now that you know this, I want to hear your thoughts, right? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Do you think this is the right way for the Fed to incentivize the consumers in the US to spend money or even consumers all over the world? Do you think this is the right way to do it? Or do you think there's a better way to do that? If so, then please feel free to share that in the comment below because I will definitely love, love, love to read about this. And while you're here, do not forget to hit the like button so you can help this channel rank and also to check out this episode right here that's going to complement everything you just learned today. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.